Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm coming today with day two of a hundred days of projects for junk journals. It's inspired by Margaret from Seven Plaza and I really enjoyed the first day. So I hope I'm going to continue with enjoying day number two. In second day, Margaret created a paperclip dangle. She did use large paper clip, that's what I do have here, and then she used all kind of beautiful yarns. I do not have yarns, so I decided to use this butcher twin or string uh, as a, one of the colors which I will be using on, on my dangle. And the second things which I would like to use uh, is this one. <laughs> I had this on beautiful spool a long time ago, but then my friends came with children and they put their hands on it <laughs> and it did end up like this. So I'm going to kind of like, you know, pull a few strings. I, I do believe I can pull a few strings. Uh, Margaret cut her yarn on uh, in 24 inches, I think, leg. But then she folded it and cut it and I think she ended up with 12 inches the leg of, of the strings, I'm guessing. So that's what I'm going to be cutting. 12 inches of the string. And <laughs> I'm not sure how many I will pull out, but 12 inches of the chain. And of course, I'm going to be using again book pages to create beads and some kind of decorations on my dangle. So I have managed... <laughs> To pull out three chains in the leg of 12 inches and I do have here five st uh, strings again in the leg of 12 inches from that butcher twain twin tw string. Uh, I'm gonna be using same nearly similar technique uh, as Margaret used. She grabbed all her uh, yarns put them into one bunch and then uh, slide them through and wrap them around her paper clip. I'm gonna uh, take always one string and one chain and start to put them in the kind of like row, one next to another one. So string this way. And on chain, I will need to use jump rings and I just realized that um, I wanted before I will continue to create that dangle I wanted to color the chains and paper clip as well for that I'm gonna take alcohol inks I'm gonna put my chains here this is my kind of like inking sheet I do have here my alcohol inking tool for dirty inking. Uh, I do have here brownie alcohol ink and also this one. I didn't try that yet. Uh, it's alcohol pearls, which I found on Amazon and I didn't try it yet. And I want to try them, this one. So I think I'm going to start with brown because that's kind of obvious that light color first and <laughs> on my dirty tool and but this one I'm using only when I'm making some kind of like very grungy uh, inking so I don't mind if there will be you know few few different colors I think I will need a little bit more on my tool and then to add this brownie ink onto my chain yeah, I will need some darker color. And I'm gonna add the same color onto my paper clip. Ah, it does look really good. It's kind of catching same color. I really would like to try those alcohol pearls, which I don't know what is it when it's black. Hmm, we will see. I think it's only black color, I'm guessing. Hmm, 
it's nothing happening. Bear with me. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it's kind of like a grungy mix. It's more like a uh, gray than black. It's interesting color, I have to say. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. So I do have both of these kind of in the quite similar color. I do have here my jump rings, which I'm gonna be using for editing the chain to that uh, paper clip. And I'm gonna start. So fold the string on half, slide through this one and through to that loop, slide the ends, like on tacks. Now I'm gonna take a chain, catch it in the half. I'm gonna pull out one jump ring. Just one, please, just one. And with the jump ring, I'm gonna fix my chain with that paper clip. And I'm gonna take another string and again fold it on half and go next to the chain. And fix the string and again I'm gonna go with the chain and so on so on till I will be with the last string and I do have my base so all these chains are kind of like between <coughs> the strings I added uh, kind of two and two strings on the sides then I do have chain chain uh, here it got somehow mixed then are strings and there is one chain so that's what I do have here and now I'm gonna bring back my newspapers and I need to decorate this one somehow so first of course I'm gonna make a beat to create a beat from paper it's not too hard you just need some strip of paper yeah I'm gonna use this one it's better on beads than on this paper. I'm gonna cut the strips not too big strips I'm gonna fold it on half and fold it on half and cut the strips like this or I do have folded it on half so now I can actually cut it this way and here I'm gonna cut it on two pieces I do have here this uh, bamboo stick or you can use maybe uh, end of brush you can use a knitting needle you can use I'm not sure what but maybe a large uh, large needle just try to use something what has beautiful circlish rounded uh, shape and grab your piece of paper and create your own beads so you will start to roll the paper around the thing you choose to have as a base for creating the bead grab the glue add the glue on that paper and roll once you do have your bead roll it 
slide it down and let it dry. And grab another paper and do exactly the same. I do have video where I created uh, beads from or all kind of uh, decorations for junk journals from uh, book pages. So I'm going to link it down below. You will see so many different beads, how to make them. So I'm going to link them, that video down below for those who would like to see. I'm going to create a few of my beads. So here I am in the process of making my beads. Uh, you saw me to do something like this. And I'm making also these little cuties. And I just want to show you how I make them if you want to kind of copy the style. So I ripped long strip of the paper. Uh, I cut a long strip of the paper and wrap it around this bamboo stick as a large kind of like tube and uh, I'm leaving it on my stick this way go there so always moving that wooden stick and I grab my scissors and cut then I need because my scissors will squeeze it this way so then I need to kind of push it back on the stick like this to make it circleish again like a ring and once it's circleish like a ring it does have that hole in the middle I'm using a uh, super glue and I'm brushing super glue over my bead to the super glue gives to that bead uh, the strong feeling so hold it still and soft poof and we are on the ground so I'm adding this super glue on the sides and then <clears throat> once it's dry it does have to make this cute little bead which I can use on my strings later so I do have a few of my beads done and I'm gonna flip through of the newspapers and try to find some images like here these large letters they can be perfect as a dangle as well. I'm gonna be using this uh, envelope with thicker cardstock to create background for it. So first I'm gonna fussy cut out that O and glue it on piece of cardstock. Kind of layer. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I will fussy cut out the O uh, outside and inside as well. I'm gonna have a look on some other images here as well and do kind of similar things. And uh, in the newspapers, you can find so many things which can be used like decoration in your journals. <clears throat> it can be just small small image on the pages like here this one win a 3000 holiday that can be perfect uh, this can be perfect as a decoration this 20 percent off can be perfect as a decoration s here s letter s so i'm gonna fussy cut out that letter s and go to have a look even more in my newspapers. So I do have cut out the letter O and a little bit took off piece of that newspaper but uh, it looks good. Uh, on the edges I'm using this uh, nail file to sand the edges and make them nice and smooth. It will help to make it look better. Inside it doesn't go exactly as I want but it goes a little bit. <laughs> So, I'm smoothing edges on all of this and I found that some of these circles matching perfectly my circle punches. So, for the circles I'm using my circle punches and it does go much, much better way actually. You know, if you do have the right tool 
for what you want to do. So like here I found news. So that I can fit into this. I think it's three quarter of inch circle punch. Also I glue it on the piece of cardstock, old envelope. Here I do have that letter S already glued on one piece of the envelope and I glue it again. So I'm gonna fussy it out again. Just around the edges I did before. Like this. Now I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna smooth the edges. And sand the paper around so it will look more uh, more clean and kind of it will it will make my uh, it will makes my cuts uh, look better. So I do have letter S, and now. Um, I do have these on one piece of envelope and they are not too thick so I'm gonna glue them on a few more pieces that's why I'm glad that <clears throat> these circles are matching my uh, circle punches because then it's much more easy to create embellishments using them so I'm gonna glue about three four these circles together And make my pieces look much, much better, thicker and heavier. I think for now um, I'm satisfied with these pieces. I'm gonna be using Distress Ink. Uh, this is Distress Ink from Spectrum Noir, Harmony Line, and this is Water Reactive Dye Ink. And I'm gonna be using Seal Brown Color. If you don't have any uh, Distress Inks, you can always use some marker. And very carefully, <laughs> this can be very tricky, very carefully uh, to add the color to the edges of your pieces. It will make them look uh, finished. So with marker, carefully take your time, just paint the edges, the sides of your pieces. It will give them really beautiful, uh, beautiful look. But because I do have my distress inks, I'm gonna be using that. There is many amazing tools for distressing. I'm using this one because uh, I started to use it seven years ago and I stuck with it. So <laughs> not gonna change it, but there is so many beautiful tools for distressing. The sponges, I used uh, that sponge for uh, editing alcohol ink. So same sponge tool can be used for distressing, for using these inks and editing color to the edges. So with this, I'm gonna make a look, uh, make this uh, letter look a little bit older. And now I can start to make a holes. Uh, I can use some poking tool, a needle, or this O, uh, which I'm using for uh, making holes in my signatures. Or you can use the, uh, any kind of hole punch. I do have here this crocodile, and I'm gonna be punching holes in the middle of the top of these pieces. So then I will be able to add their uh, jump ring and hang it uh, on the chains here. I'm gonna also use on few pieces. Like this, just a small, small hole where you will decide. 
And there are also supplies which can help you to create uh, top coats and beautiful effects on these uh, pieces from newspaper. One of these is this liquid glass, something uh, similar, it's from Ranger, it's called uh, Glossy Accent. So with this, I'm going to add a little bit of this liquid glass on my little circles. Hold it here with the needle and spread the liquid on my little circle. And let this dry. I'm gonna do same probably on all of these three circles. And I'm gonna let this dry and then I will show you how it looks like. And here is how your pieces from newspapers can look like with that glossy accent or liquid glass on the top. So it can be really beautiful embellishment. I know here it's kind of invisible that 20% off, but this one went really well. And here, do not touch it too early. <laughs> here I touched that very early and I get glued into that when there was just half dry, that glossy accent. So let it dry totally and it will make beautiful coat. And I think I'm ready now. So I'm going to take my embellishments here on these. I'm going to add uh, jump rings. I can choose one of these chains and up there my little embellishment. Somewhere. So I do have hanged <coughs> the paper beads or paper embellishments. And now I'm gonna wrap the paper beads. So I somehow <laughs> messed up with this. Okay, I do have one large and two small. So I'm gonna take uh, one of these side strings and go first with that small. I'm gonna make a knot. I'm gonna slide there my bead and make a knot right under that bead like this now I'm gonna take the second bead and do another knot and I'm gonna take that third one so I have tried to fit these beads here and I have to use a hot glue gun to put their a little bit of hot glue gun, uh, hot, hot glue to hold the beads on the right spot because you know I made them on the bamboo stick and they do have bigger hole. So I'm gonna take the thread from opposite side and first I'm gonna make a knot somewhere here. Then I'm gonna take one of these smaller beads, slide it there. <coughs> I'm gonna put right before the knot, I'm gonna put small amount of that glue and slide there my bead and kind of like press the thread on the side of that bead. It will be slightly off of the on the side but I don't mind that. I'm gonna make another knot and move that knot close to that first bead here. Now I can take another bead and again <coughs> I think here I'm gonna put a little bit of glue inside the bead and just slide it over this way. And I'm gonna make another knot. Take the last one, slide it there, put there a small amount of glue, just a drop, 
tear that bead and make last knot. And I do have this one done. So on this string, I decided to add the bead to the end. So first, I'm gonna slide the bead on my thread. Then first, I'm gonna do that bottom knot, which will be under my bead, on the end of that thread, right here. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right here. Slide there the bead. And now I can do the knot right next to that bead from opposite side much more easily because I do have there a longer string. Just like that. And I'm gonna continue and then I will show you how my dangle looks like. I do have here a few more. And this is my little dangle <laughs> from newspaper and string. So that's all what I'm gonna show you today. I actually like it. It was quite some job. But I love these. These looks amazing with that glossy accent. So they are perfect. I do love this one. It's great as well. I a little bit screw up with this because I slide the top paper. I colored the back side. And I love these beads, these smaller ones looks awesome. And because of the because of the uh, super glue, they do have nice sound. These because uh, the top it's uh, much harder than it will be if I will don't use that super glue to wipe it on on the top. So that's my sharing for today. I hope I gave you some idea what to do if you will be missing some beads and you will need to create some embellishments. The newspapers can be really great, uh, great background to find some interesting images. Thank you so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you will join me next day uh, on next challenge inspired by seven plaza a hundred days projects have a beautiful day take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye